Hi, and welcome to this quick 10 minute upper body workout. Working the arms, shoulders, a little bit in the upper back. All you need is a light set of dumbbells. I'm using three pound weights. And let's go ahead and get started. Always start lighter weight. You can always add water bottles um, or soup cans. All right, starting just with one arm at a time, our right arm, palms facing in, roll those shoulders down and back. Let's take the arm out to the side, bring it front, and then lower it down. Side, front, and lower. Just doing one arm at a time forces us to work our core as well. So we have to stay standing upright. Two more like this. And switching to the other side. Lower down, nice and slow and smooth. Try not to hold your breath. One more. Okay, back to that right arm. We're gonna take it out to the side and pull it back. Out and pull it back. The palm is facing me, and I really want you to focus on squeezing that elbow back. is in, you have a little bend in your knees, maybe a little pelvic tuck so there's no sway in that lower back. Two more like this. Relax that arm, other side. Reach, pull it back. Out and in. You got it. Let's go four. Three, two, last one. Flip the palms towards me. Then I want you to bring it out to the front and then pull it straight back. Forward and back. Good, keep those shoulders pressed down and back. You guys, there's no break during this workout, so shake it out anytime you need to. Just pause the video, grab a drink of water, and come right back in. Last one. Other side. Forward. Bring that elbow back. Four more like this. Relax. All right, combination. Hammer curl, so palms are facing in. We curl it up to the shoulders. Then we do a little elbow strike, so we're just lifting those elbows up towards the ceiling. And then here we have two tricep presses. Lower the elbows, lower the hands. So curl it up, elbows up, up squeeze. For two, lower and lower. Lift, push it up, up for two. Lower and down. Squeeze and lift. Up. Lower and release. Few more. And then we get to do all those three first moves we did together at the same time. One more like this. Bicep curl. Lift the elbows. Up for two then lower and all the way down. Okay, starting from the front, both arms, same time. We go side, forward, and down. Side, forward, and down. Try to just keep them chest height and shoulders are pressed down and back the whole time. Your core is still in. Being really mindful of every movement here. We'll be thankful we don't have heavy weights today for this one. 
side, front, and lower. Let's try two more. Excellent, palms up, we reach high and pull those elbows back. So think of like a little W. Side and down. It's warming up. I know you feel it too. Almost there. We've got three, two, one. A little break, shake it out. Third and final one. Palms up, reach out towards me, and then pull elbows straight back. Forward and back. I like to think of this as like a, like, a, like you're serving a platter. Forward, pull it back. Using those upper back muscles, really important for posture. And I know you're feeling the shoulders. Let's go three, two, one, and relax. All right, one more set of those combo moves with the bicep, elbows, and triceps. Here we go. Bicep curl, elbows up. Two tricep lifts. Drop the elbows, drop the hands. Curl, lift. Up for two. Down. Work on your form here with those triceps. I know the elbows want to separate. They want to lower. Try to keep them close together and pointed towards the ceiling. Left. Curl. Left. Up for two. Lower and down. Let's do two more. Last one. Lower and down, bicep burnout right here. Keep those hammer curls. A little bend in the knees. Try not to use momentum, no swinging. All the way up, all the way down. Give me five, four, three, two, one, hold them halfway down, elbows in, little out, little in. Good feeling that rotation in the shoulder. A few more like this. Then we're really gonna get into the back of the arm and the upper back. Last one. Relax it down. Okay, straight arm lifts behind us. First, we're gonna start palms in. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. We've got a hinge over. We're going to lift those arms with straight elbows and just lower down. Pushing the shoulders down and back. A little lift, a little lower. Tendency here, I know you want to bend your elbows. Don't let it. Lift and lower. As you lift those arms, think about reaching them further behind you. Really make sure you've got the correct form there. Nice. Two more like this. Stand up, take a little break. We're gonna do the same thing, but switching our hand position. So this time, palm is up to the ceiling. Again, little bend in the knees, hinge over, proud chest. No rounding of the back. Straighten those elbows, shoulders down and back, and we lift and lower. Breathe, guys. We don't have much longer. Give me four, three, two and one take a little break shake it out got one more for you this time we're gonna reach those hands together behind our back so again keep the palms up and try to squeeze maybe tapping the ends of the weights together still trying to keep those elbows straight still trying to keep them long almost there give me five four three two and one, wow, shake it out. All right, Let's squeeze a few more in here, palms facing in, lift the hands just slightly, and then I want you to crisscross, crisscross. So using the chest, pull those arms in front, squeeze and squeeze. 
tummy still in. Push the shoulders down, you got it. All right, give me three, two, and one. And here we go to the back, same thing, little crisscross, little crisscross. I know it's harder. You got it. Lift them up. This is it. Four, three, two, and one. You're finished. Nice job. High five. Go ahead and join me for the rest of this 10 minute series to do standing abs with balance, stretch, and legs as well. We'll see you next time.